I've often asked, how does the client know if it's anxiety or stress they're suffering with? Now, although they're often used interchangeably, there are differences distinguishing the two of them. What I can say is they both lead to heightened senses because they are both perceived as a threat by the brain. Stress is often a reaction to a determinate source of worry, while anxiety is felt towards something that, that's, that's not, it's indeterminate. In other words, it's often difficult to find a tangible cause for an anxiety attack, but stress can usually be traced to a definite reason. Um, for example, if you're suddenly confronted by a mugger in the street and you get um, a knot in your stomach, um, that's, that's a stress reaction. There's a fight or fight or freeze response. If you have to make a difficult phone call, for example, to someone, you may experience some anxiety before the call. Now, with both of these, after um, some period of time, the body will settle down again and that stress and that anxiety will go. Anxiety becomes a disorder when it goes from that a temporary emotion to be a more constant presence for the person. It's there all the time. So that is just a, just a quick uh, more of a view of the difference between anxiety and stress and stress is a big cause of anxiety and a big cause of depression.